Everyone has an expectation on how they want their life to turn out. It all goes back to when you were a child. You had these dreams of maybe becoming an astronaut or a teacher, a doctor, professional athlete. You may even want it to be a rock star. And as you got older, you then traded those childhood dreams for the American dream. And you were able to dream about the man or woman of your dreams, the house of your dreams, how many children you would have, the car you would have parked in your driveway, and how much money you wanted to make. And as you continued your life, you realized that one of those dreams was shattered. And maybe it wasn't going to turn out exactly how you thought. See, no one ever thinks that they're going to have cancer by the time that they're 45, or divorced twice by the age of 50, or clinically depressed at 26 and alone. Maybe you were physically abused like I was as a child, or diagnosed with an incurable disease, or you're living with a physical challenge. I truly feel with all my heart, there's a blueprint, a master plan to be successful in life. Because when the storm comes and you're in the middle, not seeing land, you need to have inner strength. See, one of the single most important words that you need to define and then act on in your life is to trust. It's the single most important foundation to your marriage, to friendships, to co-workers, to life. Coming from a very dysfunctional family, I've learned early in my life, when you have havoc and stress and fear and division, nothing works. When was the last time you looked at yourself in the mirror and said, I'm not exactly where I want to be. And time waits for no one. I've heard every excuse under the sun on why people don't exercise. But if you truly want to do life well, you need to make sure you take care of the most important real estate you'll ever own, which is your body, your temple. Show me a person that has a passion for life. I'll show you a person that lives with purpose. It doesn't get better. I call it your sweet spot. But to do that, you need to focus on trusting, forgiving, giving love a second chance, and truly understanding the meaning of love and family and unity. Through my life, I thought of why did I succeed? And it had everything to do with the inner strength, not so much the outer strength or muscles, but having the courage to understand that I needed to take one foot and put it in front of the other and work on these areas of my life so that I could truly not only enjoy the present, but I could fulfill the gifts that God has given me so that I could finish strong. And that's what my desire is for each and every one of you. And that's why I put together this book, Soul Strength. You can buy Soul Strength through any bookseller or call 800-HOPE-361. You can also go to petersprinciples.com.